In this video, I shall be making a digital artwork in Photoshop and Sketchpad about the well-known artist Louise Bourgeois. She's a surrealist and her work's pretty cool. I started off by gathering some research photos and did some sketches of what kind of poster I'd like to make. Then using Photoshop, I selected some backgrounds, dragged and dropped them in, and then took a photograph of one of her artworks, which is a spider, using the magnetic lasso. I cut out part that was then going to drop inside the background. The spider is one of her most well-known artworks and I figured it'd be kind of cool looking to have her face somehow on the spider's body. So I magic lassoed her face, copied and pasted it in. This automatically created a new layer. I resized her face, dropped it on, and then played a little bit around with the, the size of her face. Decided on moving the spider over to the right hand side of the room. It would probably look better. I then wanted to see if the spider would look good coming through that doorway. So I erased the bits that would have been in the way make it look more realistic. I then changed everything to black and white, increasing the brightness a little bit. And then I decided actually that I wanted to add a, a body underneath the spider, underneath Louise Bourgeois' head. So I took this old kind of brewery tank thing, flipped it around, Moved around the layers so it fitted better, and then changed it to black and white. The next thing I did was to make everything look a bit similar, but quite effective. Uh, so I changed it to a sort of posterized look through the filters in the version of Photoshop that I was using. I think it looks look pretty good, but I still wasn't happy with the background. So I copied part of the background and flipped it around just on a mirror line to make the area look better. I added a layer and painted in a sort of transparent way using a paintbrush and white paint to fade out the background a little bit. I figured that would be the easiest way to do it. I then went to Sketchpad, which is a different app, because I wanted to create a sort of Louise Bourgeois style uh, shadow underneath the spider. And by that I mean like a, a, a red spiral shape. So I played around with some of the paintbrush tools on Sketchpad uh, to get the spiral effect I wanted. I also quite like Sketchpad because it's got a number of different tools that you can use. It's a little bit more straightforward than some of the tools on Photoshop as well. And one of the tools I particularly like is a sort of web pattern that you can create. The other reason I wanted to do this in Sketchpad was so that I could download a sketchpad file as a JPEG file, making it easier to drop into Photoshop and to distort. You can change the different kind of spider web effects you get, so I thought I'd go around just adding a little bit of a spiral there. Took me two or three goes to do it.
Let's see if he has a JPEG. Crop to the bit. And then cropped it again into Photoshop, creating a new layer automatically. was to distort that photograph to make it sit nice and neatly underneath the spider. So to do that, I have to use the, the skew distortion, S-K-E-W, which kind of gave it a bit of a sense of perspective. It took me a while to kind of fiddle around with it until it was right underneath her. Once I was happy, I decided actually what I would need to do is to erase some of the white bits in between the spirals. They look like they stood out a bit too much. So I just used the mag magnetic lasso again to select the areas that I didn't want and then to erase them. Once I've done that, I also then uh, change the opacity level of that layer. To make it a little bit more transparent. And then I can also erase parts to make it look like it was a shadow that was kind of pressing up against the wall. small eraser setting just to erase some of the little bits in between but actually I didn't really need to do all of the white bits in between because part of the floor was white anyway and then I added a little bit of red up the wall it looked like the shadow was changing when it hit the wall. I then used a digital tablet and a pen just to kind of draw in uh, some extra detail onto the legs. Detail that might have been lost a bit so that I could make the legs stand out a little bit more. This is quite fiddly because actually that area of the legs is pretty thin so I had to control plus to make the area that I was working on bigger and easier to see. from the slide that I've made before. Just downloaded that as a JPEG and then enlarged it directly onto the Photoshop layer. And now I moved it around a bit. I then did the same with the information, changing the font, moving it around until I was happy with where it went. Finally, I saved it as a JPEG. Large file, top quality. 
and there it is. <laughs>